Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah, I'm a musician and visual artist, and today I thought it would be fun to kind of take you guys along while I plan and prep for an upcoming music video shoot. So I recently put out a song called Dancing Alone, and today I'm actually posting the music video for that song. So the video I'm planning right now is not that one. This is for my next single, which will hopefully be coming out like late March, early April. I'm really excited about this shoot because I'm working with a videographer that I connected with through a mutual friend, and it's definitely been my goal lately to work with other creative people and like take both of our strengths and build something that's going to be so much better than if I always try to like do things all myself. I think as a solo artist it can get kind of isolating at times and I just get like creatively fatigued and I think because of quarantine it's been harder to like reach out to people to like work on stuff together but we're definitely gonna be safe about it and I just really want to start working with other creative people and like hear their ideas and have more input into what we're making. The general vibe of the video is that it's very like visual and aesthetic and like performance driven. We rented out a space that's kind of like got those dark academia vibes. It's definitely my style. So today my goal is to hit up some thrift shops and try and find some like cool, unique pieces to wear in the video. Fashion for me has always been just another creative extension of myself. So it's definitely like an important component to just my life, but also to music and like my musical identity or whatever. So putting together some really great outfits for this video is super important to me. Speaking of outfits, I'm actually pretty proud of my outfit today. It's simple, but it meets both like quarantine comfy and stylish requirements for me. And again, it's got that like dark academia vibes. I know some people don't like those trends or something, but honestly, our generation just likes dark academia because it reminds us of Harry Potter and like things that we grew up with. I've honestly been into dark academia a lot longer than it's been a hashtag and not I'm not trying to be that person, but like, it's a lot of timeless stuff. It's really old styles. It's not anything like new. It's a lot of classic stuff. So I don't think it's gonna go anywhere because people are always gonna wear like blazers and turtlenecks and like read literature. Anyway, I think I'm gonna get going and we'll see what we can find at these thrift shops. It's always a hit or miss. Hopefully today it's a hit. difficult shopping at thrift stores in areas that are not Brooklyn or LA. There's just so much like mall fashion from like 15 years ago lurking in thrift stores around here. So it's a little difficult to navigate and find things that are unique or interesting or in my personal style. So a lot of the stuff I got isn't even necessarily for the music video, but I think there's a few pieces that I could definitely use if I style them with some of the stuff that I already have and kind of dress them up a bit. The thing I'm really excited about, which I might try to style for the video, is this vest. It's really like dusty right now, but it reminds me of like something Lori would wear in Little Women. That was the vibe I got. That was the energy it was giving off to me. I want to style a few outfits today using this stuff, using what I have, and just figure out some interesting looks for this music video. That's my goal for today. All right, I have the new clothes. I have my box of summer clothes. Wardrobe, closet, clutter, ignore that. All right, I'm gonna 
get to work. I'm going to put on some music and I'm going to overdub it with copyright free music. <laughs> brainstorming for the music video before we shoot in two days. Yesterday when I talked with Ryan, the videographer, he asked if I had any props that I wanted to bring and I was like, mm, not really. <laughs> but it got me thinking like maybe it would be a good idea to like do a little more brainstorming in that department. I kind of focused on like some outfit ideas yesterday and I think I want to go hunt down some prop type things. Things that I can like interact with in the video. So my list so far is candles and I want to get some faux flame candles. I got this really pretty candlestick holder. I've been wanting some faux candles to put in it and I think they'll look really nice in the video. Kind of just adds to the like dark academia aesthetic that I'm going for. A mirror, something preferably like antique looking. That would probably be really hard to find. Mirrors are expensive. Oh my god. So I don't have like high hopes for finding that, but I put it on the list anyway. And then flowers and a chessboard. Yes, that last one was inspired by the Queen's Gambit. I'm a fan, what can I say? It was a success, even though the candles need to be secured in here a little better. All right, but I think I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. So thank you so much for watching. As always, I super appreciate it. If you like and subscribe, hit the bell. All of my music and other social media links are down below. My new video for my last song, Dancing Alone, should be up by the time I post this vlog, so definitely check that out. And then yeah, make sure you subscribe so that you can see this next music video that I've been planning. I'm super excited about it. I think it's gonna look amazing, so I don't want you guys to miss out on that. Again, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!